All right, what's good, YouTube? Clean King, aka Double K, here, bringing you a little tutorial on FL Studio 9. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the program, get right to it. All right, when you first open up the program, this is pretty much what it looks like. Right in the center, you should see something that looks like a little grid, a bunch of squares. That's the step sequencer. I'm going to explain more of that in detail. All right, so I'm going to show you the basic layout pretty much. You can't see everything that's normally you see in FL Studio when you normally open up because for tutorial purposes I have it zoomed in so on the left hand side you're gonna see a bunch of it's a it's like a list of files I should say like drum kits mixer miscellaneous stuff like that that's everything that you can use in FL Studio those are like your sounds your sound fonts your plugins everything that you'll be able to use to create your music and then if you go up to the top you will see your time display you'll see your transpose controls which is stop play record and you also see the tempo which can be changed it, by default it starts off at 140 we're going to change that a little bit later next to that you'll see the pattern which is the step sequencer and you could change the pattern there's up to I think it's like 90 something patterns that you can use so you can create different drums drum patterns and then you build that to make your song I'm going to explain that a little bit more alright the first thing that I think you should learn though is these five buttons to the right starting from left to right it's the playlist the step sequencer the piano roll the browser and the mixer the browser is pretty much it pulls up those files that I was talking about on the left so it pops it in and out if you want to see it or hide or hide it or display it alright so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the step sequencer which is this right here in the center um, by default FL Studio opens it up with a four beat bar. Four beat four beats meaning each one of these colors. Every time it changes color it represents a beat. So it starts off gray, then red, then gray, then red. So it has gray, one, red, two, gray, three, red, four. So this is four beats. And one bar is the whole thing. That's default, which starts off at four. But what I like to have it in is eight. So you take your mouse, scroll over to this box on the left top left corner of the sequencer and you can scroll up or down by dragging down or dragging up so I drag up to 8 which makes it an 8 beat bar now that it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you see every time you change color that's another beat alright what you also notice is that it pulls up these sounds for you automatically so it starts you off with a kick a clap a hi-hat and a snare these are just some basic sounds they think you want to start off with and so the first thing I would do is go up to my tempo and change it between 100 and 120 is normal for like a hip hop beat. Anything above that, 120 to 130 is more like a house trance type beat. And then 140 and above that is pretty much like techno and hard step or whatever you call that. All right, so I'm just going to set mine to 100. And then I'm going to do just create a little basic drum pattern right now. So these represent drum so every time you click one of these buttons it's gonna call up a sound from your files so right now if I put a button on the, on the kick you hear it it calls that kick up and then if I put on the clap it does the same thing so this pretty much is saying what sounds you're gonna call up and it puts it in a grid form which makes it a little bit easier for you to organize it so I'm just gonna do a real basic pattern here nothing too special just a basic pattern all right some people it's it's your choice it's really a preference if you want to start off with your drums or if you want to start off with the keys like pianos or guitars something like that strings anything um i like to start off with drums because i i look at it as if it's like a sophisticated metronome and if you don't know what a metronome is it's that when you press the when you start to go into record mode you'll hear a which counts off pretty much like one, two, three, four, one. It's just it's something that gives you like a tempo, something to 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 go go with, something to go with while you're creating your song. So drums pretty much the same thing because you have the clap, 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 clap every time. So that's like a metronome. So it, but it's just your preference. You can start off with whatever you want to start off with. I just think drums are a lot easier for me. 
All right, so this is a basic drum pattern. Let's say now you want to you wanna add some keys in there. So you go to your files on the left-hand side and look for uh, any sound you want. I'm just going to grab the piano, piano one. And uh, to drag files in to your step sequencer, you just hold down the mouse on them. You click them and you just you can drag them anywhere you want. You see it's dragging all over the screen. And when you want to drop it in sequencer, if you have it, if it highlights like as it is right now, that means it's going to replace whatever sounds that's already there. So you want to not let it highlight and then drop it. It's going to take a second to load up. All right, I think it's loaded. So from here, the next thing I'm going to show you, you see that you see that it's in your step sequencer now. It used to be just four things, four items. Now it's piano right here in purple. And um, the next thing I want to show you is the piano roll. I'll show you the playlist first. All right, the playlist is.